In this section, we're going to talk about the money market mutual fund crisis of 2008. And then we're also going to talk about the differences between uh, the yields um, and discount rates and so forth, uh, especially between uh, uh, treasure, uh, treasury bills and bonds and notes. Um, but i um, start with the, uh, <clears throat> the money market mutual fund crisis uh, in uh, 2008. The, prior to 2008, uh, there was a, a large amount of growth in money market mutual funds. It grew 88% between 2005 and 2008. Uh, there was a crisis related to Lehman Brothers in 2008. Uh, Lehman Brothers uh, primary reserve fund broke the buck, uh, meaning that the uh, the value of that fund fell below a dollar. Uh, the the uh, mutual money market mutual funds uh, typically sell as uh, shares at the value of uh, one dollar, uh, and Lehman's fund the value of that fund. Uh, fell below a dollar. Um, I think investors ultimately got about 97 cents on the dollar of what they, um, um, uh, what they had uh, invested. Uh, but when a 3% loss is uh, fairly considerable, when you think about, uh, we're talking about securities where uh, investors uh, very rarely, ever, if ever, lose money on these these types of securities. So, um, as a result of this, there was a run on uh, mon all money market funds. Um, the uh, U.S. Treasury stepped in and temporarily offered to insure all money market mutual funds. Uh, this uh, stabilized the market uh, and uh, re uh, restored confidence in the market. So, um, yields on money market instruments are not always directly comparable. We talked about bank discount rate on the, or uh, on T bills. The um, the, uh, the there are a lot of factors that influence quoted yields. Um, the par or face value of the instrument and investment uh, of it versus the investment value. Um, we talked about T bills where they're they're issued with a face value at a discount. Um, others with add-on interest. We'll see sh shortly which securities are are priced uh, each way. Um, they also use uh, uh, 360 or, or 300 versus a 365-day basis uh, or, or actual basis, so which would be 366 in a leap year. Uh, the bank discount pricing on a treasury bill is referred to as an um, actual 360-day basis. So it's a, it's a, a, there are other instruments that use this method, but it is um, it it actually the uh, bank discount rate actually understates the yield on that security. Uh, some use simple versus compound interest. Um, first calculation we're going to do here is to calculate the bond equivalent yield, um, the, which is other, also the uh, ye, referred to simply as the yield or yield to maturity. Um, you can't compare a uh, T-bill directly to a bond, a treasury bond or note. Again, T-bills are calculated on a uh, actual 360 day basis versus uh, bonds are calculated on an actual actual basis. So um, 360 versus 365 days uh, uh, return is, is figured uh, in par versus price paid. Um, so what we do is we adjust that bank discount rate to make it comparable. And we do that by using this formula. So the uh, bond equivalent yield or yield is equal to the face F minus price P divided by price times 360 divided by the number of days to maturity. So if we go back to our original example, 
the uh, we had a five percent bond discount rate. Um, we uh, our uh, bond equivalent yield would be ten thousand minus the nine thousand eight hundred seventy five divided by nine thousand eight hundred seventy five, uh, and uh, the uh, multiply that by 365 divided by the 90 days to maturity for that that security and we get a bond equivalent yield of 0 0.0513 or 5.13 percent uh, effective annual yield uh, is simply the one plus uh, then again this should be face or F um, minus price uh, divided by price to the power of 365 divided by the number of days to maturity minus one and uh, this would give you the uh, effective annual yield uh, again using our same same example the uh, uh, effective annual yield would be equal to one plus the 10,000 face value minus the price of 9,875 divided by 9,875 to the power of uh, 365, 365 divided by 90. Again, minus one. Um, and that gives us an effective annual yield of 5.33. If we compare, or recall our bank discount rate was 5%, our Bond equivalent yield or yield of 5.13 percent, and then our effective annual yield is 5.23 percent. So, depending on the compounding, the um, um, the uh, yield or the bond equivalent yield and effective annual yield uh, will always be at, at least equal to the uh, the uh, uh, bank discount rate, um, or um, and in most cases they'll be greater. So um, then finally here, uh, this this chart shows how different instruments are um, uh, calculated: uh, the treasury bills, commercial paper, bankers' acceptances, uh, uh, repos are all calculated at, uh, using discount method or the uh, CDs, euro dollars, and federal funds are calculated using a um, you know, uh, using a bond equivalent yield. So, and you need things you need to know if you're going to be dealing with these types of securities.